Hey everybody, I'm here at the flea market. Excuse the hair and lack of makeup, which you really can't see most of it anyway. Um, but I'm here to shop. I'm not here to make any fashion statements, which I'm definitely not going to do. So, um, I almost didn't come today because they said on their Facebook page about the one road, some kind of, um, not road closure, but like road work or something. And to avoid this one road coming the other way, I'm like, oh my gosh, can I not get in today? And then I realized I misread it. I misread it last night. So I reread it this morning and I can go the normal way. I was able to come in the normal way. So that worked out. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. So I have my water bottle. I got my money. I have a protein bar, so I don't need anything else. Oh, but I do need, do need this. I do need my visor because my eyes are so stinking sensitive to the sun. So I know this looks so corny, but I don't care. It keeps the worst, even with sunglasses, if I'm constantly looking down at boxes and stuff. So every time I look down, sun comes down through the top of my glasses. So like, unless my glasses go up to my, literally touch my forehead, which would look really silly. Um, uh, then yeah, so I need the visor. So again, not making any fashion statements, but that's okay. Um, but anyway, all right, I'm gonna go shop. Let's go see if we can find some cool stuff. I'll take you guys along. Um, I think if I had to pick one thing I'm hope, hoping to find today is some really cool old vintage mid-century plastic bracelets, like the Lucite, the acrylics. I'm really getting into those. They're my, my, my latest, my latest uh, obsession, if you want to call it that. So let's see if we can find some. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this in the car because I don't like walking around with the camera, like, like my phone facing me like this. Like I'm really self-conscious. <laughs> like even here in the car, I'm like, oh gosh, everyone's like looking at me. I shouldn't worry about what people think, but you know, I, I, I can't help it. That's where my brain goes. Anyway. Okay. Enough about that. Enough about that. Let's go shopping. Okay. The flea market starts here. There's like all these rows and it goes all the way. You can't really see it because I'm, I'm at the bottom of the hill. It goes way up over there. I'll show you when I get up to the top. I'll try and do a shot down. That child set, yeah, you can do all that for a dollar. Nothing over a dollar, dear. Okay, cool. Hi, 
Yeah. You betcha. See, I love that. Do you know what this is for? You put it on top of one of those little candle lights. Okay. Yeah, that's cute. That's
electric nose thing? I know. I gotta look at it and see what the hell it is. I think it's one of those. Must be a joke. Yeah, where is it? I, uh, yeah. I think it probably is. Okay, there you go. Take it easy. You too. It's nice to see you. Yeah, yeah. I was really concerned. I'm glad. I'm just doing a quick voiceover in just this section, uh, as far as I can tell while I'm editing. Uh, while I was filming this, I didn't realize a guy took a phone call in the background and had a conversation, and I just didn't feel like that was appropriate to have that playing in the background. Um, I mean, granted, he was at the flea market, but <laughs> still. Um, but yeah, I just was digging through. This lady had a lot of really, really cool stuff. You actually bought a few things from her. Just a lot of, like, bits and pieces of random stuff, but it was so fun to dig through. Charles, Barbara Streisand. I don't think that's Barbara Streisand. Tom Jones. I used to love Tom Jones. Not because of the swimming. Jeez, he is. Good boy. That was not 
Tom James. Weston. Okay. I am, I like him too. Even if he's just Lima. My goodness it got toasty and crowded i'm kind of packed here in the parking lot waiting for the cars to go by fortunately i'm not in a huge rush i have nowhere i need to be today i do need to hit walmart um for a couple things but um i did really well today i got a lot of stuff i think this is the most i've ever spent at a flea market i think i spent it was under 40 it was 30 something which really isn't a lot of money at the end of the day but for a flea market and like all the stuff that i got because i I buy cheap. I buy so cheap. I bought some really odd things. Some are odd. Some are cool. Some are I just it's a mishmash of stuff. Oh my gosh, the crowds. Oh my gosh, the traffic. See, it's good to get here early if you can. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. Anyway, I'm I'm blabbing on, and I really should be cutting this here. I will come back with the haul and show you what I got. Got some cool stuff, guys. I can't wait to show you. I tried to film this twice in my bedroom, and I was just it wasn't working for me. It was making me irritable. And I had originally thought of going outside, but I was feeling lazy. So I'm like, yeah, I'll just film it in here. It's fine. And then, then I realized, no, I need to be outside. I have to get outside. I gotta get out of this house. <laughs> so here I am. Oops. The only problem is I got a breeze and my hair is going to keep hitting my, my lips. I just put lip gloss on them, but whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But, oh, it's so much nicer out here. I found like one little shade spot in our yard. So anyway, oh, I feel like I've still got like a hair on my lip. Okay. I went and did all my eye makeup so I'd look nice for the video and you're not even going to see it. I guess I could take it off so you could see it, but it's too bright. Like my eyes are way too sensitive to the sunlight. But um, for now, the glasses are staying on. So I got some little bits of this and that. Nothing, nothing to write home about, but I'm just going to kind of just go right in here. This one I want to do, I want to do a separate video on because there's so much of it, but I've got this big old box of old postcards and little... I'll show you one thing. It's like a little needle thing. It's, full of, it's a little, I don't know what they call them. But I was going to buy like a handful. So like I think these were my original, was my original pile. And the rest, you know, I got. The reason I bought the whole box is I'm leafing through and leafing through. And this elderly, let's say elderly gentleman. He wasn't that old. This older guy walked by and um, he wanted to look at the box next to me. He's like, are you still looking through this? And I said, no, no, so I'm, I'm, I'm not even interested in those. So I'm leaping through and I'm, I keep adding to my pile. And he's like, he kind of leaned over and he's like, you know, usually I'll just ask what they want for the whole box and you can leaf through it later. I'm like, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that. So um, I went over to the lady then after he had left, he wasn't there for that long. And I walked over, or no, she walked over to me. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, I asked her what she wanted for the whole box. So she was like, let me see what I got in there. So she's going through, and I was kind of hoping she'd say 10, but I'm like, she had so much in here. I knew it was going to be more than that. So I'm like, well, if she says 20, I'll do 20. And she goes, 25. Like, Would you do 20? Or why, hey, not? And she thought for like a brief second. She's like, yeah, sure. So anyway, I got a lot of cool stuff in here. So it may not be a very interesting video, but it's a video I want to make. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, some of it's boring. Uh, I'll be honest, I went through this earlier and I did throw away a few of these because some of them were adult content and uh, no thank you. <laughs> to each his own, but I was not going to keep them in here so I'm kind of glad I went through it first in the camera because I had to edit a lot out. So anyway, I kept the ones that I liked and it was only a couple of them. It wasn't it wasn't the end of the world. It wasn't like I bought like bought the box and half of it was like stuff that I just didn't care for. Okay, so the next items I got was this one particular booth, there's this one particular lady who I've seen like every year. I haven't seen her for a little while. In fact, I even, I did hear her telling somebody, um, she said, yeah, I'm glad to be back. So, let's put that there. So, I got four things from her. So the first item I got was this teeny tiny, sh her, her, uh, her tape, sorry. Three thoughts all at once. Let me show this, to, show this to you first. This little teeny tiny porcelain little dude. And there is lettering on it. It looks like it just says Ann, A-N-N. But it's so, it's so cute. So I really like him. 
It'd be a nice little addition to my collections. I'm not sure what collection that is, but it's old and I like it. So, but that lady has so much stuff. I, I think I got some good footage at her table. She just has a mishmash of things and they're all different and cool. I think last year or the year before, I found like a Giga Pet, like a vintage Giga Pet. Um, do you remember those? They're kind of like the Tamagotchis, they're little tiny pets you keep, digital pets you keep alive. It didn't work, but I, I was able to, I got it for like, or something and I, I sold it on eBay um, anyway moving on then I got this little shark glass it says I say jolly what it's gonna be backwards for you but <laughs> it's kind of funny and it's kind of cool because his the black part of his eyes on the inside of the glass so when you move the glass it looks like he's like looking around cool I thought that was kind of fun couldn't tell if the paint was in good condition or not but because it was so bright out today but it was it was not too bad actually and actually has a with anchor hawking mark on it, the H and the anchor. So very cool. And then from the same ladies' booth, I bought this old kit, and it actually is still filled. Believe it or not, it is still filled. Mostly. Just, ooh, see if they even open, but doesn't want to open for me. Look at all the stuff that's still in it. I got it more for the container, but um. But yeah, it's it's a little buggered up, but they don't go for a lot of money on eBay. I looked, but I just thought the the it's a little metal container. I thought that's really cool. I think it's missing a so what I could see online. I think it's missing a metal band aid box, and the thing smells of band aids. Like it does smell like strong band. This is actually a little. Let me pull it out. It's a little tin. The rest of it's paper and cardboard. I know it's not tin. It's adhesive plaster. So it's this little teeny, teeny, tiny, and it's, it's this little thing. You see it? That's so cool. And what else is in here? It's just, it says Trangler bandage, cotton wool. It's just a bunch of stuff, but so she wanted five for that. And then I also got the shot glass and the little dude. And then I got one more thing and everything I bought from her, I, I paid $10. I got this. I know, I know it's weird, All right, but but work with me. I told the lady what I was thinking of doing with it and she actually liked my idea. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of using this to hanging my purses on in my bedroom. I've been looking for something for a long time. I have some, a variety of, of vintage purses I want to hang and how cool would this be? Or odd, it's okay if you don't like it. But if I could somehow figure how to mount this, I should probably should go this way, mount this on the wall and hang my purses on it. Like how fun would that be? Even if I just got found like a brass band to put her on the middle, so I had that center support because I don't want the arm leaning. And it would look like it had, she had like a, um, a band on her arm and then just hang all the purses. You know, I could even put like uh, rings on the hand. It was so funny because when I bought it, I told the lady what I wanted to do with it. And she's like, I love hearing what people do with this stuff. And so I'm like, and I said to her, I'm like, I know I'm going to get comments from people as I walk around. And I didn't get as many as you'd think, but I had two people comment. <clears throat> one, one was this guy uh, as I was walking by he says something about need a hand or can you give me a hand or something like that I can't remember and he was actually telling me that I forget where he used to work but I guess he worked near a, an old um, retail store and he went out in the evening to put something in the dumpster and he almost had a heart attack he looked he thought there was like a body in the dumpster but here was this old mannequin someone had thrown away so he pulled it out and stuck it in his car and he had it in his car for years he told me that members of his family would dress up the mannequin and stuff from time to time <laughs> it became a thing so and then later on another lady says about can, need a hand or whatever and i started to laugh she's like i'm sorry i'm sorry she's it was almost like she was like like that was a bad joke but it was hilarious and i told her i'm like i was wondering how many people were going to comment I said, you're actually the second one. Uh, she was the second and the last. No one else commented. But um, she started telling me about where, I forgot where she used to work. And she used to have like a mannequin foot or something she'd carry around. I can't remember her story because I was in the middle of looking at something. And I realized later, I'm sorry if you ever watched this. I'm sorry. It was like kind of half listening and whatever. And there's a lot of noise going on. But it was just, we had a good joke though. A good laugh over the joke. So it was all good. But anyway, so I got all that for $10 from that lady. So I think that's a really good deal. I'm really happy with that. So the next item I got, which I'm really happy about, is this vintage Pyrex ad from an actual um, magazine. So I've been wanting to find something like this. They're pretty pricey on eBay, and I've been looking for old magazines that had these in them so I could do exactly this, so I could frame the Pyrex ad. So I'm trying to see this. I'm trying to make sure that you can see it. 
in the bottom it says, ever dream that there were so many lovely Pyrex dishes? And yes, as a matter of fact, I have dreamed many, many a time of walking into a thrift store and finding rare pieces of Pyrex, patterns I've never seen before. But I only paid $5 for this and I'm really happy. I've been wanting something like that, so very cool. And one of the first things I bought, I just bought for a dollar. This guy had a table of boxes, this cute little Christmas booty. Let's go like this. Isn't that cute? So, come Christmas time, I might put like a little tree in it or something. So that'd be fun. And then I got, this lady had a couple, um, Charlie Brown and Snoopy comics to two books. This one says, who was that dog I saw you with Charlie Brown? <clears throat> so I actually had to text uh, my husband Josh and asked him if we had both these books. And the one we already did have, and this one we didn't. So I did just snag this for $3, so that was really cool. It's really cute. We like reading these. And then also from the same lady, from the same vendor, I should say, I got this really cute beaded coin purse. It's like this, you can see it. I asked her if she knew how old it was. She said from the 60s, and I can see that. The inside says uh, made in Hong Kong, so that's definitely, you know, definitely old. But it's, I just thought it was so sweet. I paid $4 for this and $3 for the comic book. So I just thought that was really, really fun. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so pretty. I love how the light catches on it. And uh, one more bag, and I think we're just about done. Thank you for your patience. And then... I wish the breeze would kick up. It's getting a little warm out here. Then this last place, I bought six small items from this table. Everything was 50 cents. So I bought six so I could pay for an even three. Don't ask me why, but I bought these. <laughs> well, I kind of know why because um, my brothers grew up playing with these. And I just... Uh, and unfortunately, I broke this. I didn't realize. Ah! That was a cheap little plastic piece and I bumped it. It lasted from the 80s, and in one second, I break it, but it's okay. So this is just, reminds me, reminds me of my childhood. My brothers played with these a lot. My cousins had a lot of these as well. So anyway, I just thought these were kind of fun. For 50 cents, I don't know what the hey I'm going to do with it, but. And I got this cute little tiny pitcher. Little ceramic. No markings on it or anything, but for 50 cents. You could legit put one flower in it. Was there a flower? Oh, there's kind of. Kind of a few little flowers are in here. Let's do this. Ah! Got some dry grass in there. Hold on. Hold on. Not here in nature. I might as well make the best of it, right? There we go. Look at. Oh, it's a Cool. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Then, this is an odd thing to buy, but again, it was only 50 cents. Oh, came on out here. Should have brought up my iced coffee. I bought this vintage Avon eyebrow. It's called Eyebrow Brush Align Dark Brown. And just because it was vintage, I thought it was kind of cool. Ooh, let me open it like this so you can see it. Probably not going to fall out. But it has this little paper. And then has a little brush. It does look like it was ah, slightly used. <laughs> Alright, let me just go like this so you can see it. Just that, just the powder and a little brush. Like this dress to you. Not that probably matters all that much. I don't know if you can even still, if you could even still use this. Um, if you clean up the brush really well, I mean, it's, it's not a bad little brush. I don't know that I would use it, but I'll, I'll keep it around just in case. Uh, I wonder if there's a way you can test the makeup to see if it's like germy or anything. I don't know. And I got two more items in here. Hold on, they're in bags. This cute little tiny mug has got thistle on it. I just love the thistle flowers, it's very cute. This little tiny one in the back. I just thought as well this would be cute for flowers. I love having these little tiny, tiny things. And last and least, because it's really not my high end thing, but I just, I love this little plate. I just love the picture on it. So that was kind of cool. The back says, uh, Highland Find, Highland Fine Bone China Scotland. So anyway, I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe put jewelry on it or something. I just don't know. But 
<clears throat> I think that's everything. Yeah. All right. Well, that's everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming along with me. I went to the flea market today. It was a good day to go out, so I'm glad I did. Hope you all are doing well. I'll catch you in the next one, and this is it. Bye.